Okay, now we're going to talk about fairies again. All right, I'm going to talk about deep, uh, deep saw, deep saw, deep saw. Seems like fairies need to be more sensitive, and I've talked about fairies because fairies are like seriously, um, they like practical jokes, guys. I mean, they really, really do. That is kind of where the bad things about fairies, the stories about fairies being <clears throat> bad. That's where they come from, is from the fact that fairies are, uh, like, really, really big into practical jokes. And, um, yeah, they're practical jokes on each other, and their practical jokes, as fractaline continued, and, and the densities became more real, and magic went away, so to speak, it's kind of the best way of saying it, there were, when they're practical jokes, um, beans did die. Yeah, so did fairies. They all died. But the difference is fairies are very aware of how this whole thing works. And they would die. They would um, cause each other to die. And they would just pop right back. Because they know that really um, you, you don't have to do any of the rules that, that humans think that they have to do. You don't have to be born here in a, in a physical body and live and die and... You don't have to do any of that. That's all just belief systems that are in your brain. That's not the truth. The truth is you're God. You can do whatever you want. Well, fairies know that. So if, as it, as fractaline got further and further into it, and it got more and more dense, and their practical jokes started to cause harm, started to cause people to, like, lose lambs or die or lose babies or stuff, and then uh, what happened then is... People started looking at him real negatively like they were bad because these bad things were happening. It was the same kind of things they had done before. It's just that in the denseness, the consequences were different. And when that happened, when the bad things started happening, then people started looking at the fairies different, like they were bad and evil. And then, of course, more bad things happened and because the law of attraction works. So if you believe a fairy is evil, then fairy is evil and bad things will happen and worse things would happen and it would appear that we're evil you were just calling more from the law of attraction okay and then they got worse and worse until people didn't the monotheistic religions came in and said there's no such thing as magic ever and if you see any magical creatures then you are evil and you must die <laughs> and they went away hopefully that makes sense. Hold on. Hopefully that makes sense. So, let's go to her statement. Because that's where that came from. Some video where I was talking about that. And she said, Seems like fairies need to be more sensitive to the idea that humans may not be understanding their jokes and try to communicate in a way they that they understood. LOL. Um... And I wrote, or humans need to be less sensitive and learn the fairies are right, lol. And then she wrote, but we are not the ones making practical jokes, are we? Whoever initiates communication out of love needs to understand whom they are communicating with. Okay, so that's the reason why I am telling you about fairies. Because fairies are practical jokers. So, uh, people all over the place are saying, I want to... I want to see a fairy. I want to see a fairy. Well, if they pop up and they've stolen your keys and they're laughing at you and you're mad, well, what I'm telling you is that is who they are. Now, if I was talking to fairies, which I do, I would tell them to be very careful how they talk to humans because humans are very, very sensitive creatures. They're overly sensitive about everything. And since... They're coming out of a very deep denseness. I would tell fairies that um, you need to be very careful around humans. You need to be very careful about who you talk to and who you play with. Um, very careful. Uh, and I would, I talk to fairies a lot. Fairies around me a lot. Um, because, well, because they're easy for me to talk to. Because I get them and they make me laugh. But really... 
when you're raising vibrations, if you want to talk to fairies, be ready that they're going to, um, they're going to, it is their nature to be full of practical jokes. It's their nature. You need to understand that. If you don't want to be around a creature that plays practical jokes, then call on a mag a different magical creature. Don't call on a fairy. Now, Stephanie is in the process of writing her first book, and we'll get some books out there so you guys will know magical creatures that are best suited for you to, to be your first ones that you call on to visit with. I think as a general rule, people like to think that fairies will be the first ones that they call on, but I don't think that's necessarily true, nor do I think that it would be the best match for the fairy or the human, uh, because they are. If you're, like, really sensitive and, yeah, the place that fairies come from is a love, they are immersed in a love that, uh, it's going to take you a while to get the hang of. They've never come out of true love. And true, unconditional love, you don't even think about what the other person is, is uh, understanding or what perspective they're coming from. Because they're from a place of true openness and unconditional love where everything is accepted. That there isn't a need to do it the way the other person needs it to be. Or there, there's not that kind. It's not. They don't. They don't share like that. Unconditional love is not like that. You don't operate like that. You operate just by being you, and you accept every other being for being them, and that's just that's the way it is. Period. That's the end of the statement. Everything that another being is, no matter what, is accepted and loved. And everything that you are, no matter what, is accepted and loved. And when you get to that, you have to get to that before you can get to 5D. Because, um, because you can't be worrying about what other people are thinking about you or how you're coming across to them in true unconditional love. That, did, that interferes with you being who you really are at all times. If you're worried about coming across the right way for somebody else, then you can't be who you truly are authentically 24-7 all the time. Do you understand? Does that make sense? I'm not trying to be harsh here at all. I'm just trying to explain that you don't want to pop in and out uh, with this fairy unless you're truly in unconditional love or you like uh, practical jokes. Um, yeah, if you make friends with them, they, I mean, they're going to bring your keys back most of the time <laughs> and if you can't get your keys back just talk to your higher self your higher self will lead you to them i mean they're not gone forever your higher self can get you to them all you get to do is uh trust your higher self for a minute and uh you'll get it back <laughs> oh dear yeah they're, they're i think they're gas but yeah they're not going to do any of this and the reason why i brought this up is because this is a prime example of of how far we've got to go yet because the practical joking fairies need to be accepted for the practical joking fairies that they are and in 5d they will be they will be because if you don't want to be bothered by them as a creator god you just simply say i won't be bothered by them they won't do any practical jokes on me and you know that and you know that they won't be bothered by you because you're in charge you're a god you're in control at that point that's what you're going towards, is back to God status, right? And in God status, you're not worried about any of this stuff. Because if you don't want to be bothered by it, you aren't bothered by it. Uh, they can come and talk to you, and they won't. If you don't want them to do practical jokes on you, you they just won't. Because you just say no. Um, I don't do that because I love their jokes. I mean, I love that. But if you don't like them, or you don't want to be bothered, or you don't think that you would respond well to them, just simply say no practical jokes, please. Communication here. Communication. Until you can do telepathy, you're going to have to communicate with your with your voice, with your words. Um, text word, e word, uh, words. You're going to have to text mind in your words. Until you can do telepathy, use your words, okay? 
All right, thank you so much for that question, Deep Saw. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, everybody, for your support. Thank you for Patreon and PayPal. Those dollars really add up, and they do matter. Thank you for your session people that do sessions. Earthquake! It's a 7 on a Richter scale. Sorry. Joke. <laughs> uh, my lighting just got messed up because of the... Because, <laughs> because of the earthquake. <laughs> All right, guys. That's it. Huge hugs, and I'll see you later. Bye now.